Hello? Hi, I'm calling about your yard sale. Yes. And, um, well, the thing is, I, I live just around the corner from you on Kickerville Road. Okay. And, and I'm having a yard sale on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So you can't have one, too. I mean, I put mine on Craigslist weeks ago. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I had my mom move in, and I need to get this stuff out of my house. But but you'll, you'll be taking all my business away. And who says you're not going to be taking mine? Everybody's going to be shopping at yours, too. No, they're going to shop at yours first, and then they won't have money left. And it's it's it sucks. It's bullshit. Okay, and you're calling me to bitch and complain because I'm having a yard sale the same weekend you are. But I set mine up weeks ago, and I put it on Craigslist, and I think you did yours on purpose on the same days just, just to steal my business. No, sir, I did not. I've been talking to my mom since before I moved her in, and I told her we were having a yard sale the third week of August because I moved her in at the beginning of August. You're like a dirty businessman. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not even doing anything. I didn't even look to see if anybody else was having a yard sale this weekend. Oh, so you admit that it's your fault. You didn't check. Well, why should I? Because I'm having my yard sale and I'm just around the corner and you're going to steal all my business. And you're calling to complain to me because... Because it's bullshit. And I'm supposed to check Craigslist to make sure that nobody else is having a yard sale in my area the same weekend I plan on having it? Yeah, it's common sense. But I think you did check Craigslist and you saw that I was having one. You're like, ooh, I'm going to steal his business. Hello? Hi. What seems to be the problem? Well, you guys are stealing all of my business for my yard sale I'm having on Friday this weekend. Excuse me, we're stealing your business? Yeah, because I put mine on Craigslist already and, and you guys probably saw that. And you figured you'd steal my business because you live right by me. Well, you, you know, you know what? Why don't you come down here and talk to me face to face? In Arnie Road. My name's Bill. Well, I, I, I just I'm making the phone no, call, no, you, so I don't have can, to. You can come down here and talk to me face to face if you think I'm stealing your business. I, I don't want to look a dirty businessman in the face. Uh, oh, I'm a dirty businessman. Yes, you are. I'm giving you the opportunity to come down here like a person and speak to me face to face if you think I'm doing something dishonest. But you're you're not even going to stop not your yard sale phone. if I come down there. E- excuse me. So if I come down there, you'll stop your yard sale next weekend. No, I'm not going to stop my yard sale. So it's, why would I come down? Free country. It's a free country. If you got a problem with what I'm doing, you need to come down here and talk to me face to face. Well, you need to just stop being a dirty businessman. Why don't you have yours on Monday? You need to quit being a dickhead <gasps> and realize that it's a free country. That and when rude. I schedule my yard sale, that's my time to schedule my yard sale. It's not your yard sale. If, it's my if, yard sale. If you do it on Monday and Tuesday, hey, shut up. If you do it on Monday and Tuesday, you need to shut the fuck up, you motherfucker. No, you listen. come down here and talk to me face to face. I'm offering to help. I'll pass out flyers oh, so they'll you're, know. You're offering to help me yeah, reschedule I'll, my yard sale? No, I'll pass out flyers because at my I'm yard sale. With your yard sale? And I'll, I'll tell them about your yard sale that's going to happen in oh, a couple excuse days. Excuse me, you're going to tell them about my yard sale. Well, at least I'm being nice, unlike really? you. No, you're not being nice. You're being a fucking asshole. You're more than welcome to come down, but I'm not changing my yard sale. No, you have to, you because me. I already set mine up oh, with Craigslist. I, I have to? You're going to get kicked off to? of Craigslist for this. Excuse me, I'm going to get kicked off Craigslist for this? You might, because this is dirty business practice. How do you figure it's dirty business practice? Because you didn't is check... Is there a law that says there can't be two yard sales at the same time? Well, it's not a law, but it's not very you neighborly, should, is you it? You should... Neighborly? Yeah, you... Neighborly would be coming down here face-to-face instead of calling up... Well, what good would that you're do? You're being the dirty businessman because you feel that I'm going to steal your business with your garbage over my garbage. You know... How it, does that sound? In my country of, of Russia, we don't do this. We're not, we're not like this. Okay, well, you know what? You're not in fucking Russia anymore, motherfucker. Oh, don't, don't threaten me. Are That's you? racist. Don't oh, yell- whoa, whoa, whoa. Racist? You want to talk racist? You come down here and talk to me face to face, motherfucker. Well, you're being so racist. I'll show you racist. Oh, oh, will you? Okay, so you're going to be even more racist. I'll show you racist. When I come down here, I'll show you racist right out the fucking door. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just. You think I'm a racist because you're not in Russia anymore? Yeah. Well, anyway, Russia has nothing to do with it. Anyway, 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 shut up, shut up, listen, listen. I'm not going to shut up, you fucking piece of shit. But, Come but, down here and talk to me face to face. But I just wanted to let you know that this is just a prank call. Okay, what's your address? I'll come up there and talk to you. How's that sound? Well, look, I don't even live in your neighborhood. I, I'm in Oregon. This is oh, a, this you don't even live in my neighborhood. But I'm stealing your yard sale business. No, no, you don't understand. You don't yourself. understand. This is a prank call. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not even doing a yard sale this weekend.
That's all. You know, it's just a joke. Snowplow show. Just a joke. Snowplow and he show. hung up. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W- what? W- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder? <laughs> okay. Go, 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 sha, go, 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 what the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. What's this? Bitch, asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Heard Fucked her? in the ass. Meow. Goodbye. Dabalina. Meow. Meow. Blue. Goodbye. Dabalina. This is Sensei Doug. What? Sensei fucking Doug. Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy, Westy? Is it you? Are you the good boy, Westy? Roy. Steve Dave Rock Bob Dabalina. Go suck a dick. Roy. Steve Dave Rock Bob Dabalina. Go suck it in. <laughs> Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Turnwinder? Okay. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hi there, everyone. You are listening to the Snowplow Show, episode 486. Today is July 29th, 2018, and this one is sponsored by Jessica, the real crazy Kraz, JT, Tokus Pocus, and Simspeak. This episode is going to be so fucking great that it requires five different sponsors all in one show. Just like all of my shows, because they're so fucking great, you know? That's why I do the five sponsors. It's not a laziness thing or anything like that. Why would you even think that? Come on, don't be a dick. Also, thanks to the new supporters of the show, including Jermel, Vince, Alexander, Mark H., Shane T., Daniel S., Jofan Orangutang, Brad S., Jamie N, Placenta Juan, John Betts, Bradley C. Holy crap, a lot of Brads joining up. I'm going to start up a new club of Brads. Matt N and Neglectoid. Thanks all of you for signing up on the Patreon lately. I appreciate the support. If you support the Patreon, then you get extra shows. Sometimes a couple shows a week. There's a couple this week. It's at least one per week. And sometimes you get videos. Sometimes you get early access to videos. And most importantly, you support the show. You keep shows happening. I'm doing this shit full time now. Please support the show. Please, please. Patreon.com slash phone losers. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. I have at least a couple of announcements today. Announcement number one would be that a guy named Richard is putting up things on eBay, things with my logo on them, with the PLA logo. He is selling some hats for charity. He says 100% of your bid goes to the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation to celebrate Matt Hillock's birthday. Is it Matt Hillock's birthday? I haven't heard about that. Maybe it's coming up or something. But he has three different hats to choose from. They are all completely different from what I've offered in the past. The logo is slightly different and there's some words on some of the hats. It says established 1994. It's a pretty cool hat. I bid on one of them. I bid $19.94 and the bid is currently up to $18.50. So I'm probably going to lose, but I don't know. Maybe I'll bid again. I will have links, though, in the show notes if you want to bid on these items. Richard is making all kinds of crazy things with the PLA logo on it. Maybe I'll post links to the uh, Facebook images he's been tagging me in lately. It's kind of cool stuff. There's one where he uses the Wisconsin Bell motorcycle logo, wink, wink, on an item. Announcement number two. Yesterday, I did a show with Jack Heliquin, one of the call-in shows. We spent about an hour hanging out on the phone together, taking your calls. You missed it. Sucks to be you. But the Facebook video is still there if you want to go and watch that. And I've got the audio mostly edited. So maybe I'll have the audio version of it up by tonight, later tonight, maybe. It was a lot of fun, though. A lot lot of crazy stuff happened. We had special guest appearances by Carrot Top and by Stacy's Head in a Box. It was kind of wacky. I will have links in the show notes for that stuff. 
And what else? Um, oh, yeah, Mr. Biggs. You all know I have this huge boner for Mr. Biggs lately. Please don't tell him I said that. But he's going to be doing a live show with Roger on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. I'll have to check and I'll put a link in the show notes. But this is going to be their first official live show. I guess the live show before was just a test show. And all the other small shows he's done in between then have all been test shows. He's just getting all his shit working. But their plan is to do a live call-in show regularly. I don't know how regularly, but hopefully somewhat often. So everyone needs to be listening to that. It's on Wednesday night, I guess. I don't know what time offhand. I'm too lazy to go look it up. It'll be in the show notes, though. I'm sure Carol will be calling into the show at some point. I'm talking to Mr. Biggs and Roger. I think that's it for the announcements. So let's get on to the live show, which is going to be based on an idea that Gad gave me a few years ago when he first started up Calls of Mass Confusion. He said that I should call up yard sales and say that they're, they're unfairly competing with me, with my yard sale because I live just a couple blocks away and they're stealing all of my customers. And you guys remember that one, right? He was actually at the yard sales and he was filming them. And we got some pretty good results on video from that. I'm betting when I edit the show all together, I'll probably put one of those calls on the beginning of today's show. That's the thing you heard before the intro, most likely, if I can find anything. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to call up some yard sale people. And this is going to be a live show. I'm going on the air right now. Right after we hear this brand new song from Henrik. And by brand new, I mean that it's something he sent me back in March and is still in my email box for some reason, so I think I never played this. This one is called Olga Draws Dragons. And speaking of Olga, I think today's show art is by Olga. She's still doing her corporate office PLA comic strip over at patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. And I'm going to steal a frame from it and put it up as my show art. Nothing she can do about it. What's up, everybody? This is a quick review of... FL Studio 12.5 Back once again is the Renegade Master B-Boy Damager Power to the people Back once again is the Renegade Master B-Boy what with the ill behavior Back once again is the Renegade Master B-Boy Damager Power to the people Back once again is the Renegade Master B-Boy what with the ill behavior Patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons sound program is being weird i hope it's all right anyway hi everyone uh i'm doing some yard sales today i don't think i'm gonna be doing this very long because it's already getting pretty hot up here in the situation room it's gonna be 96 degrees outside today that means it's gonna be like a billion degrees in the situation room but you know what i haven't done in a while i haven't done yard sale calls I don't have I ever done a yard uh, uh, like a, a show a live show of yard sale calls I don't think I have maybe I have I'm having some problems today though because is what I'm doing is I'm looking these up on Craigslist and then I take the address and I put that into 411.com and 411.com hopefully has a phone number but the problem with that is um, 411.com is being kind of a dick and they're saying, oh, you're using 411.com a whole lot. It sounds like you need a premium account. Here's a page to sign up for our premium account. Only $20 a day or something. They've always done that, but it seems like they're really uh, clamping down on people like me. And I've got it set up in my cookies, so 411.com can't get cookies from me. Neither can white pages. But somehow they're still figuring it out. I guess by my IP address. They know I'm using their, their <laughs> shit way too much. But a lot of people, um, they have yard sales. I mean, here's an estate sale. Nah, I don't want to call an estate sale. I don't want to talk to a recently widowed person. But some of these have the phone numbers on Craigslist. I don't know why. But they do, like this one. So the first one I found here, it's a multifamily $5 bag sale. They just posted this an hour ago, or two hours ago. All you can fit into a standard plastic grocery bag for five bucks. Everything must go 8 a.m. to noon. So it's got two hours left. There's a picture of all the tables, lots of uh, dishes and clothes and, you know, yard sale stuff. Hello? Hello, John? 
Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. I live over on um, Locust Road at, at Sensei Doug. Yeah. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. That's great. Um, hey, uh, I noticed you're having that yard sale today. Well, we're having a, a bag sale to try to get rid of everything. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, It seems like you're just copying everything I'm doing because I'm having a yard sale, and I turn my yard sale into a bag sale. You know, five, $5 a bag, standard yeah. plastic grocery bag, and you guys, like, you're just, you're stealing my business, basically. Yeah. Like, why, yeah. why are you doing that? What do you mean, why am I doing that? I mean, it, it's not very cool. You know, I, I was doing it first, and then here you come, and you set yours up real fast. We had ours advertised a week ago. I had mine advertised two weeks ago. Uh, I'm sorry if you're upset about it. You know you can kiss my ass. Hey, Bye. hey, you can't say that to me. I'm your neighbor. Hello. Hey, John. It's Sensei Doug again. I just wanted to apologize for calling earlier. Um, I, I, I know it's not your fault. You've probably been a dirty businessman your whole life, and you don't want to change your ways. Hi. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you betcha. I'm an asshole from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 not your fault. I I I, I shouldn't say anything about it. Um, even though you're uh, st stealing all my business and. Oh, uh, it's not like we did it on purpose, and uh, and uh, you're the first person I ever heard. You must be half crazy or something to complain about such a thing. Because usually one garage sale helps the other. No, I don't think so. I I think one. Garage uh, you sale don't think so because you don't can't think. Well, Goodbye. I don't know why you're being like this. We're neighbors. What a horrible neighbor. All right, next we have a moving sale. Everything must go. No reasonable offer refused. Dryers, stove, yard equipment, furniture, clothes, knickknacks. Come see for yourself. And I don't see no dryer or furniture in these photos of theirs. I just see clothes and knickknacks. What, their camera run out of film? Hello? Hi there. I'm calling about the yard sale. Yeah? This is Sensei Doug from the city of Spokane. Okay. And um, we sent one of our inspectors over there, and we noticed that, um, I don't know, it's just that your yard sale, like you just have stuff scattered all over the place, and you have like clothes hanging on the fence. And it's a very messy looking yard sale. Do you think you could just clean it up a bit, like straighten things up? Because when, when you have a, a yard sale that, that, that just looks crappy like that, it, it makes the whole city look like a bunch of hobos. Okay, we were just setting it up yesterday, and today we're setting it up to try to make... How, how are we supposed to have a yard sale? I, I don't understand. Well, you can do it any way you want. You don't have to be, uh, you know, not disgusting. It, it's just like, it, you put a little more effort into it, you know, like... Like straighten things up on the table and 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 just uh, you know line things up properly. Like face face everything to the front and and line it up on the edge of the shelf like you do in a supermarket. And, and just stop making the entire city look like a bunch of hobos is what I'm saying. My yard is making the entire city look like hobos. Yeah, because you don't have your stuff all straightened up. You know, you just have like because it's not. He's saying he's from the city, and he's staying investigating. Now you're being rude. And, and he's saying that our yard sale is making the city look like a whole bunch of hobos. Oh, that dick across the street. I have uh, tables out that I have my uh, knickknacks on. I have boxes that I have... Uh, Books and yeah, the, the tables were kind of rickety looking. Do you think maybe you could um, tighten the screws on those and maybe paint them? Well, they're not, sir. They're not rickety. Well, maybe not in your opinion. Cause, no, cause you I could go out there and shake it and it won't wobble. It's not rickety. Well, it just looks rickety. Like, it just looks old and you have, like, boxes. brand new. I don't know. Like, where would you buy it from the thrift store? That's not brand new. Like, if you get some from Goodwill, it's not technically brand new. Have a nice day. Brand new to you. <laughs> she hung up. 
I didn't hear what they said. What was their, their ending quote? Really? And, and then you have these cardboard boxes that are just kind of like, they're all, all, oh, she's gone again. Okay. Forget her. She wants to live like a hobo. That's her own business. I was just looking at the pictures on our Craigslist ad, which actually don't look that bad. You know, it looks like a yard sale. It's pretty organized, really. The table's not that rickety looking. They definitely need to mow their damn lawn, though. Next, we've got a yard sale in all capital letters. Lots of great stuff. That's all it says. There's pictures. There's a lemonade stand out in front with a little kid running it. I wonder if this young lady has a license to sell that lemonade. Sorry. Hello? Oh, I knew it. You're just hitting the button. Hey, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I live down the street from you. Hello, yeah. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. I, I live over there on uh, Alberta Street. Oh, you do? Yeah, you know me, right? Like, like I've, I've, I, I wave when I drive by and stuff. You live on Alberta. Well, anyway, enough of the small talk. Hey, we're having a yard yeah. sale today, too. Uh-huh. And, um, I don't know, it, like, it seems like your yard sale looks an awful lot like our yard sale, like you're copying us. Cause you, <laughs> Does it? Well, you have the same stuff out, and, and we, we came by, and we looked at the prices, and they're exactly the same. It's like you're spying on us, and, and you're just <laughs> copying everything we're doing. And, and, oh, gee. And my daughter's out there selling lemonade, too. Which seems, oh, really? Oh, my gosh, that's funny. Seems mighty suspicious. It's not funny to us because you're taking away our business. I don't know what your problem is. We're, we're just trying to have a yard sale, that's all. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. We have no intention of um, getting in anyone's way. We're just having a yard sale and enjoying the day today. Well, can't you we hope you enjoy your day, too. Can't you do it next week? Pardon? Can't you just do it next week? Uh, nope, we're having it this weekend. Well, no, can you just pack it up right now and, and maybe do it next week? No, we're not going to do that. I have to go. I have some customers that are grudge sales. Ah, Thank shit. you, though, for calling. All right, whatever. Have a good day. No, I won't. I won't because you're stealing my business. See, that's how you should respond to some crazy guy calling you about your yard sale and saying ridiculous things. You shouldn't get upset like other people seem to do all the time. Here's a yard sale which, with a bunch of kids' shit. Clothes, blankets, bouncers, jumper, sleeper, pack and play, car seat with two bases. Yeah, this is who we're going to call. It's what they get for competing with me. My yard sale. <laughs> Tim Riggie wants me to say that my son came home drunk and that they sold him booze. Okay, Tim Riggie, that sounds great. Uh, hello? Hello, I'm calling about your yard sale. Uh, yes. Yeah, my, my son was there just a little bit ago. Um, did you, you, you saw him over there, right? Um, I had somebody here just a little bit ago, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, he came home drunk, and, you know, he's only 14. He says you sold him booze. <laughs> You're a funny fella. No, it's yeah, not, no. A, not a joke. Not a joke. The only person I had over here was... Uh, was a man who was in his forties, so I think you probably have some kid who's well. You know, you. May, no, I don't think so because I, I I don't think you can mistake him for a forty year old. He's he's clearly fourteen. And you shouldn't be serving kids yeah. alcohol there. That's pretty funny. I'm assuming this is a prank call. What? <clears throat> why? Why would you say that? Why would you think that? That makes no sense at all. Who would make a prank <laughs> call in this day and age? Prank calls are dead. Yeah. Don't you read the internet? Yeah. Well, if you uh, if you actually are fully concerned, you're more than happy to come over here. I'll talk to you in person. Oh. I don't know. It's not fake. Oh, okay. If that's a threat. Oh, no, it's not a threat. Well, because, it's a promise uh, then. I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a prank call now, so I'm not a fool. Look, um, my son has been... But if it really is an issue, uh, your 14-year-old kid's telling you a lie, I'd sure like to see the hey, kid... Hey, my, my, for, my 14-year-old son's a Christian. He would never lie. And also, he has, like, he has Benjamin Button's right. disease, so he may look 40. Sure. Sure. Yeah, you're a funny guy. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like some radio station, right? Why would you? Why would it be a radio? Like, what kind of radio station would call yard sales? I'm not sure. You make but, a, you uh, make a trying to get some chuckles. You make a lot of weird assumptions. Yeah, that's good. Prank calls well, you are guys dead. Have yourself you know? a great day, and if uh, you're truly concerned, I'm more than happy to see you down here. I first. won't have a great day. You know what? <laughs> you have a great day, motherfucker. Uh, all right. All right. I win.
Bye. Didn't work out, Tim Riggy. Tim Riggy ruined that one. All right, so fuck 411.com. I'm just going to look for the ones that have phone numbers, which seems to be a lot of them. Like this one, for example. Ask if they have Nazi stuff. I only want Nazi stuff. Ah, here's a phone number. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. 8 to 6 p.m. Half off vintage collectible tools. It's perfect. A lot of pictures on this one. Hello? Hey there, I'm calling about your yard sale. Yeah. Uh, I was over there um, a little bit ago at your yard sale. Okay. And um, my parents wanted me to call you up and just apologize for what I did. So I'm, I'm sorry. What'd you do? Well, I, they didn't say I had to tell you what I did, but I, I just wanted to apologize and say that I truly am sorry. And I realize now that was not cool. Okay. I don't um I don't remember anybody doing anything bad. Well you guys didn't see me, but when when you find it, I just I'm sorry. It just seemed funny at the time. Can, can you can you tell me what it is then? I guess if if I have to. But I mean it it doesn't matter really. It was stupid and immature and I'm way too old to be acting like this. And I'm just sorry. Okay. Um, could you tell me what it was just so I could see it? Because now I'm curious. I peed in one of those bottles. Which bottles? You know, you got those green bottles out there. I think they were soda bottles. I peed in one of them. I wanted to the ask... Seven up you, bottle? I guess. I don't know. I wanted to ask to use the bathroom, but I was just too embarrassed to. I'm, I've got social anxiety issues. Okay. So I, I pretty much filled up one of those seven, seven up bottles. Well, there's none with uh, anything in them. Maybe it evaporated. Maybe it wasn't the seven. Up. You have a lot of bottles out there. I don't know if it was the seven up bottles. I think they were green uh, though. All right. And then, and then I, I don't know what the thing was that I pooped in, but uh, I just, okay, I had to go, and I'm sorry, and I shouldn't have done that, and I'm very sorry. All right. There one, there, there's like boxes of toys or something, models. Yeah. Like like kids, color art sets. I don't know. I pooped in one of them. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Do you Have a good day, man. Do you forgive me? Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like you do. It doesn't sound like a sincere, sincere forgiveness. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just laughing, man. I don't, I don't see nothing going on. So I don't see why you have to be like this about it. I'm doing the right thing, you know. I'm calling you and apologizing. Oh yeah, no, that's that's, that's cool, man. It's all good, man. Okay. Well, can you give me a, a right, sincere? Man. Uh, forgiveness? Absolutely, man. Not a problem. You have a good day. Uh, it still sounded kind of sarcastic. Oh, uh, sorry. You know those. Uh, books, you have a good day, man. You know those books you had out there? Like magazines and books and stuff? Funk Physics wanted me to say that I wiped with one of the pages. Here we go. Community garage sale. In the description, it says worth coming. Come on over. Oh, I got to change my area code. Well, no, no, I'll just leave it. It's close enough. Hello? Hey there. Uh, this is Roy from the city of... Hi, Roy. Hi. I just called about your yard sale, your garage sale. Yeah. And uh, we noticed it's, um, it's not exactly in a garage. It's more like out in a driveway type area. It's in front of our garage. Yeah, but it's not in the garage. It's not a garage sale. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you can't be uh, false advertising like that. It's against, uh, you know, city regulations and all that. 
Oh, I see. City ordinances. What do you, what do you, okay. what do you think you're doing? I don't know. I mean, you don't want to get a fine, do you? <laughs> no, I really don't. Yep. I wouldn't think so. Why don't you come out here and buy something? Uh, no, no, I'm just, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm not poor, so I don't shop at garage sales. I go to, uh, you know, actual stores and stuff. Oh, this person said we have to have our garage sale in the garage. So you, de you either need to move that shit into the garage or, uh, you know, change, change the title of it. It's like when you uh, applied for the garage sale permit, you, you put a garage sale. Oh, on no. The permit. Wait, wait, wait. I got to have a permit? Oh, you don't have a permit. Oh, man. Hmm. This isn't looking so good for me. Yep, you're fucked, lady. <laughs> I better crack open another beer and think about this. Oh, you're drinking beer outside at the, at the garage sale? Oh, shit. Are you supposed to be able to... Can you drink beer outside? Uh, we got some reports that you were uh, selling alcohol to minors at your garage sale. Your quote-unquote <laughs> garage sale. Uh, it keeps them calm for the parents. Yeah, but still, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, um, we got a report from someone that they placed an online order about an hour ago but never got a confirmation, and it hasn't it's arrived. Robert. No, it's not Robert. I'm, this is Roy from the city. <laughs> <laughs> what city are you from? Yeah, it works on Sunday. Anyway, yeah, what city are you working in? Uh, the city never closes, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. you, you, oh my god, you're hilarious. No, you're hilarious. Anyway, we're going to send a I know. Uh, I know. We're going to send a city truck over to uh, confiscate everything. It'll be there in about 10 minutes. Bring your rear load over and you'll be doing me a favor. Sounds oh, great. I'll bring your rear load yeah, over. Yeah, bring maybe. some money, and what you don't buy, we'll put in a rear load. Oh, we're not buying anything. We're confiscating it all, including the beer. Oh, good. Then I don't have to clean up this shit. We're going to leave a mess behind also. We're going to bring some of the city trash over and throw it around your driveway. <laughs> so you still have to clean up something. Oh, my God. Who, who is this? It's got to be Robert. I'm hanging up, lady. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. Let this show is just not working out today, you guys. <laughs> Fucking lady, not getting upset with me. Having a sense of humor. Who she thinks she is. Hold on, I'm going to change my phone number. Was it funny, Kevin? I don't know. I think you might be wrong about that. Man, no pictures on this one. No description, really. There's like a picture of some sort of a... A hope chest. That's it. Nothing else. It's 20 bucks. Hope chest. 20 bucks. Ask if they accept food stamps. Hi, this is Elisa Gro. Do they still use physical... They, they, there's like no food stamps anymore, is there? Isn't it all on a card now? I know I've asked this before. Like, it's not like paper money anymore, is it? Or are they going to have, like, a card reader at their yard sale? It's bullshit. Hello? Hi there. Uh, this is Sensei Doug from the city of... I was calling about oh, your... hello. Hi, I was just calling about your yard sale there. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple of reports that you were accepting uh, food stamps as payment, like you had the payment terminal there and were accepting the, the state food card. As payment for yard sale items? No. And it wasn't even food? And you can't do that, ma'am. We haven't been doing that. I don't know who's reporting that to you, but we're not doing that. Well, uh, we they sent us pictures and everything of the entire transaction happening on your property. They, they showed that you had the, uh, the little payment terminal. They ran their card. They showed us the receipt. Could you come and, to our house, please? Uh, no, I will no, tell I'm, you that we don't have anything like that. I don't even know what you're talking well, about. Well, I'm sure by the time I get there, you're probably going to hide it and put it away. But I'm just... He's saying that somebody sent him a picture of us accepting food stamps for yard sale stuff. You can't do that. And that we have a terminal and a receipt for it. 
That's completely untrue. Okay, look, you're not in any trouble. I, I'm, we're not going to fine you this time, but you need to stop doing that. Fine me this time? Yeah, we, okay, well, whoever showed you that is lying. That's oh, what well, I'm telling you. We had two different people show this to us. You're, you're over there on uh, e Street in East Main, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. We, we know it's you. Like, you don't have to lie. You don't have to lie to a I'm not city official. I'm lying. We don't have a terminal. I don't even know what that is. Okay, well, as I said, we're not going to fine you this time, but you need to just put that thing away and don't use it again. Don't use that to accept payments. There she hung up. I think the husband made her hang up. He's like, honey, you idiot. This is a prank call. Hang up. All right, here, here's a yard sale that has virtually anything you're looking for. I find that hard to believe. They think they're better than Walmart or something. That seems like false advertising. Here, I'm going to look at their pictures. They have a dresser. They have an exercise equipment. They have two office chairs and two desks. I don't think this is everything I would ever need, even virtually. They have a shop vac. They have a ladder. They have another desk. They have a TV and a stand. It's a bunch of bullshit. You must haul away as I'm old and have a bad back. Leave a message. At the tone, please wow. record. He sounds like he'd be fun to talk to. I regret jumping wants me to ask for an alternator for a 96 Ford Bronco. He'd probably have one, though. I mean, they have virtually everything. Leave a message. All right, they're not going to pick up. Here's a, a moving sale with a phone number on it. I think everything is inside, though. You have to go in their house. That's weird. <laughs> Ask if they have any memorabilia of your hero, Bill Cosby. Everything's inside. What should I say to these people? They have a futon, couch, uh, chairs, shelves, a bunch of indoor furniture type stuff. They have a file cabinet. They have a microscope. They have an ultra high definition Epson printer, a photo printer. Beds, um, rubber pants, you know, like overalls. Stallman wants me to ask if I can print money with that printer. I thought they picked up. Dragon Mirror wants me to say that I'm claustrophobic. Please take it all outside. Damn it. Hello, Spencer. Oh, hey. Uh, I'm calling about your yard sale. Uh, yeah. This is Steve Dave from the city of... Yes. And uh, we've got a, um, a resident who wants to come to your yard sale, but they said they can't come inside. Uh, because they have allergies and they are claustrophobic. So we're going to need you to move all your yard sale, yard sale material outdoors real quick so they can visit the yard sale. It's uh, to comply with the Disabilities Act. Are you serious? Yep. It's going to have uh, to all come. Hard. What's that? Taking all this stuff out is uh, that's a ridiculous thing. I I'm sorry, what was that? I'm in an apartment. You want me to take beds? Outside on the sidewalk, there yeah. is no place, no yard here. Yeah, just take it all. Well, it does. Um, yeah, just take it all outside, just real quick. He's just gonna come over. He's gonna be there within the hour. He says. There, but, there is no real place. I have five plant beds. I have this heavy furniture here. Well, you better figure it out because you need to comply with the Disabilities Act. You don't want to be in discompliance with the Disabilities Act of two thousand two. And you're gonna do what if I am? Oh, uh, we'll have to give you a fine. Do you have a wheelchair ramp there so uh, people with uh, wheelchairs can get inside? I mean, well, I don't think that. No, there's just stairs. Oh. It's an apartment. That's, there did, is no... Did you, like did you get a permit for this moving sale? Why would I need a permit for a fucking moving sale? Because uh, it's a city ordinance, idiot. Anyway, you need to bring all this stuff outside. Um, like, I'm not going to do it. I'm canceling the sale. No, I, I, I command you. Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> He's canceling his sale. Should, should, should I call him and tell him I was just kidding? 
I was just kidding around. I was just joshing. I don't want him to cancel his sale. I mean, it's kind of funny if he did, even though he didn't get a permit. You have to get a permit for that, right? For a yard sale? Maybe it depends on the state. Can't believe he cursed at me. Hey, sir. What do you want? Uh, I just needed to let you know that guess what? <laughs> hey, Lamo! You just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on one hundred point nine The Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. Slamming is what we do best. To hear your call and to hear yourself get totally slammed. Tune in every weekday morning at 8.30 and 10.30 to hear the daily butt slam. After this pre- <laughs> He hung up. I couldn't hear what he said. Something about a man on the phone. <laughs> Christopotamus says, can you even cancel a sale without filling out the paperwork? Call him a bozo. Too late. I really need to shorten up that butt slam. Thing that that not Brad sent to me. Ask what Pokemon Go's are currently available at their house. What if I called as a radio station, and I'm like, it's time to play the guess what we shoplifted from your yard sale show or game. Hi, you've reached Marissa. I. All right, this one's not going to pick up. I should be doing this for the rest of the summer, like every weekend, do a yard sale show. How am I not doing that? By the way, this is Giad's idea. This is his brilliant idea. When we first started doing Calls of Mass Confusion, he was uh, going around to yard sales and hanging out at them while I prank called him. And we got that amazing video of that, that fat lady sitting in a lawn chair on her cordless phone, yelling at me. Best video ever. Garage sale. That's not a garage. That's like a carport. But they have a phone number. We're gonna talk to Kim. Um, she has, <laughs> she has. Kim has a lot of shoes. She's getting rid of. It's got a couch, plants, pictures, a lot of records, a lot of records, uh, clothes, uh, a knee brace. <laughs> uh, she's got a bunch of wigs. <laughs> Hmm. She's got a big sign that says home where your story begins. She's one of those one of those people that puts uh, like words all over her walls. She's a very annoying person. I, I already don't like Kim. Got some Tupperware, we've got some glassware. Everything's outdoors. <laughs> Tim says that uh Kim sounds like a real prize. Wow, there's a grenade in here. She's got a grenade. This is Kim. Hey, Kim. Uh, I was at your, your yard sale earlier. Oh, okay. And um, you know where you have all that glassware stuff? Yeah. I, I left my bong over there. Is there, like, is it still there? Did anyone take it? What? My bong. Your bong? Yeah, you know, like for marijuana. No, I know what it is. Okay. I wasn't calling you stupid. I'm just saying, like, I, I left my bong over there. Like, uh, kind of just set it down when I was looking at some things. Oh, okay. Uh, is it still there? Or did someone take off with it? I'm looking. Huh? All right. This idea is by Wolfatin, Kim. What's that? Nothing. Sorry, every time I talk, it's uh, repeating it to me. Oh, you should get a new phone. What, do you have Boost Mobile or something? No, not at all. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit close to home like that. So it's like, uh, it's got a red tint to it. It looks like Satan. A little bit. It's got like I don't see anything. Is this like a prank call? No, I, I wouldn't oh. pr prank call. What? Did you find it? Well, I don't. I don't really. Okay, hold on. You don't need I'm to judge back. me. What? What'd she say? She said something and she hung up. 
What is Kimberly? What did she say? Like when she hung up? Oh, she's gonna call me back. That was Wolfaton's idea, <laughs> and apparently I'm echoing it. Everyone, damn it! It's the heat. The heat makes everything echo. Here's four years worth of stuff must go by 727 2018. And today is 729 2018. And their sale is on 727, 729, and 730. So what, they don't have anything left today? Ask if I can drink some water from their water hose. Okay, Jody Antichrist. I'll try to work that in somewhere. I regret jumping wants me to say the thing that I bought looks used, and this is unacceptable. What kind of business are they running there? All right, so these people have dishes. They have pots and pans. They have, um, yeah, a lot of kitchen stuff. Candles, <laughs> bikinis. Um... Yeah, just a lot of kitchen stuff. A Bluetooth keyboard case. Wait, unable to have a yard sale. Limited parking. Please text with any interests. So this is not a yard sale? They're unable to have a yard sale? I'm so confused. Yeah, there's two bikinis in here. And they're just kind of laid out on the bed and they took pictures of them. Hello? Hello, I was calling about your bikinis. My what? The bikinis. Like, you uh, put them up on Craigslist, you're selling bikinis? Yeah. Is it okay, um, like, I I'd like to come by and take a look at those. Can I try them on? No, don't call me again. Why can't I try them on? <laughs> Very sexist lady. All right, here's a yard sale. i got to change my caller ID again. It's got a phone number. Uh, David Hilton wants me to say I'm from True Green, and we're going to be spraying their yard today. Like around the yard sale. <laughs> Hello? Hi there, uh, this is Roy from True Green. Uh-huh. And um, one of our truck drivers was just there. They're going to spray your yard today with a bunch of chemicals. Um, oh. But um, they said there was a yard sale happening there today. Do you still have that yard sale going yeah. on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. I told him. Could we do it tomorrow? No, no. I told him to just come back, and he's just going to do it. He's just going to spray around all your stuff. He's going to spray, uh, spray a lot of chemicals all around your yard sale stuff. Okay. And is that for the um, something for bugs? Uh, it's It's bugs. It's um, it, it's just for everything. It's it's grass killer. It's weed killer. It's gonna kill your grass. It's gonna turn the grass brown, oh. and the grass is gonna fall out. Okay. And um, is it's, that is this for everybody it's or gonna, just uh, um, just the special people? Just what people? Just special people. <laughs> oh yeah, just special people. Just you today. Just your address only. Fifty nine ten. Yep, we're just gonna. It's just a. It's just this promotional thing we're doing. We're trying to get new customers. You know, like I know we're not. We don't do your your yard normally, but we're hoping if we do okay, this. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. What, what how, what, what the deal was. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so the grass is gonna turn all the way brown and die, and then it's gonna come back beautiful. Oh no, it won't come back. This is grass killer. Oh. Okay. No, we're just hoping if we do stuff like this, it might um, show you that we have a good business here. We mean business, and uh, you know maybe you'll hi we'll hire us in the future. Okay, but is this a joke? <laughs> like, what would I do with the? Um, where I would have to plant a new lawn. Well, um, you know, like the the parts where you have yard sale stuff out. Mm -hmm. That part of the lawn is going to be fine. Because we won't be able to spray there, like where you have stuff sitting on the ground. We're just going to spray around everything. And we'll try not to spray it on the lawn, on, on the yard sale items, because it'll eat through just about anything. Well, I, it's like acid. I realize that, but I do want the lawn to be there, so... Yeah. But, you know, if you want the lawn to be there, maybe you should hire us to uh, come and plant some grass seeds. 
Oh, well, I don't have any yard sales, so I can't really afford it <laughs> right now. But, I mean, I would love that because I have more weeds than grass. But um, Yeah, this is going to, it's going to turn your yard into basically a desert. And okay. probably some uh, cacti are going to grow where the grass used to be. Okay, so this is a joke, right? No, no, I wouldn't joke about this. It's just like a promotional thing we're doing. We've been doing this all year. Okay. We've done other places around, you know, around the city. Just some, um, some. Well, we're happy with our grass, so even though it's weeds. Yeah, we'll see how happy you are after we come and spray it. Okay, but well, you're not going to spray it if it's good, Why? <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're definitely going to come. To, like the truck driver, he's on the way. I told him to go ahead and head back there and just start doing it. Well, um, he's not going to spray anything. No, he's he gets here. Yeah, he's going to spray the grass and he's going to spray the trees. <laughs> um, do you have gas masks for uh, like the customers of yours for the yard sale? <laughs> this is Roy from Two Green. <laughs> it is kosher bug spray. I'm sure it is. Yep. Yeah. Hey, can you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up? I'm, we're trying to talk. <laughs> I've told you several times, this is Roy. I know it is Roy. Hi, Roy. Hi. Are you high Hi. or something? I, you know, I could be. It seems like it. <laughs> True green grass. Well, anyway, be be sure to uh, tip the truck driver when he gets there. Okay, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. Click, click. Oh, fine. I'm hanging up. She was just sitting there like a weirdo. Like, who would do that? Who would just sit there on the phone and not say anything? I know I wouldn't. So I guess, I don't know, was she a renter or something? <laughs> Is that why she didn't care? That'd be my guess. I should just end it there. That was kind of amusing. But no, nah, there's a few more here. Let's just call a few more and then I'm quitting. Hello? Hello, Dan? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Roy. Um, I'm interested in coming to your yard sale. Is that still going on? Yeah. Uh, what are you looking for? Um, do you have a garden hose hooked up to the faucet on the outside of your house? Yeah. Can I drink from the hose? Can you what? Can I drink from the hose? I don't know. What does that have to do with the yard sale? Well, if you're having a yard sale, I want to be able to get a drink of water. I get, oh, yeah, I got some bottled water. No, I don't want bottled water. I want water out of the hose on the side of the house. <laughs> I don't want to get dehydrated. All right, well, what, what are you looking for besides that? And I don't think you should be laughing at my condition. And there you go again. What's your name again? Well, this is Roy. Roy, okay. I want the fluoride. All right, then... Uh, how long can I let it run before I start drinking it? Because, you know, it gets hot if it's sitting in the... Is it in the sun? Like, is it in direct sunlight? Well, it's not really sunny here right now. Okay. Uh, but my yard sale is only from, from... I'm starting to pick things up right now. How far are you? I'll hurry over. Here. I, I'm, I, I can be there within 10, 10 minutes, maybe 15. I'm getting ready to head out, walk out of the house right now. Uh, I'm seeing this is calls from Oakdale. Yeah, it, it, I'm not in Oakdale. I'm nearby, okay? It's like I used to live in Oakdale, now I live here. Okay, all right. I just, uh, how long can I run the hose before I take a drink, though? That's up to you. Okay, so you're not going to, like, throw a fit about your water bill? No. All right. No. Just making sure. Can I bring up some, can I bring some uh, containers with me and fill them with water? No. Why not? You just you just said you weren't going to throw a fit about your water bill. Hold on. I got another customer. Hold on. 
That's not how you put someone on hold. That was Jody Antichrist's idea. And I think that may be the end of today's show. Maybe. I'm looking at just a couple more here. I'm almost out of ones that are uh, today. Oh, here's one. Here, here we go. Lots of misc. A lot of wood. Lots of wood. All kinds of wood. Four by eights. We got two by fours. We got two by sixes. We got four by tens. We got plywood. Other miscellaneous wood. Picture frames made of wood. Crown molding. Wood. Antique windows, which are made of wood. Guy's got a lot of wood. Oh, the girl's got a lot of wood. Her name's Tina. I'm going to assume her gender. Wolfleton wants me to ask him if they have two-day free shipping since I'm a Prime customer. Hello? Hello, Tina. Uh-huh. Uh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I live uh, just up the street a little bit on Sonoma. Uh-huh. And, um, hey, can you tell your yard sale customers to be quieter? Because they're being very loud and ob obnoxious. Where? Like, just, just uh, pretty much all of them. Like, they, they just, like, they're driving away quickly, and they're revving their engines. And, and where do you live at? I'm just a few houses down. Like, I was sitting on the porch, but I had to go inside because everyone over there is being so damn loud. They're, like, talking in their loud voices and, and laughing. Well, and a yard sale. I, yeah, but, like, can you just put a sign up or something that tells people to quieten down? <laughs> I'm s it's not funny. And, and right there, just then, like I had my window. Oh, I was going to say, I could hear you laughing off the phone. Damn it, Tina. They're banging pots and pans together, corporate says. Here we go. A garage sale. It's kind of spilling out into the driveway, though. It's unacceptable. Could you Hello? Hey there, um, th this is your neighbor at Sensei Doug. I'm calling about your garage sale. Yeah. I, I live just down the street a bit on Salvatore. Yeah. Hey, um, it seems like everyone that comes to your garage sale and everyone that leaves from it, like they're all just like looking at me. Like I'm out here in my yard, and when they drive by, they're, they're looking at me. They're looking at L you? Like are you guys, are you telling them something about me or what? I don't even know where you live at. I live on Salvatore. I'm I'm just down a couple blocks. I'm over kind of by um, uh, more more closer to uh, Col Colonna Lane. I don't even know where that is. I don't even know who you are. How do you even get my number? Because well, we're neighbors. I, I, huh? I I'm less than two blocks away. Yeah, I don't even know how you got my number. I don't even know none of the neighbors. Well, look, can you tell the your customers to stop looking at me? Are you sure you got the right number? Yeah, I'm definitely sure. You live at the 33, right? Yeah, but how'd you get my phone number? Um, you, you put it on the Craigslist when you set up your garage sale. Yeah, why would they be looking at you? I don't even know who you are. Are that, you sure you're not prank calling me or something? That's what I want to know. Why are they looking at me? They're like all giving me snake eyes and stuff, and I'm just out here. like just I'm, not do I'm minding my own business, and everyone that drives well, by. Where do you live at? I don't know where you're talking, because you're like calling me. I don't even know who you are. You're saying I'm telling somebody something like, do you know who I am? Well, do you, you, do you know who I am? It seems like you're you're talking about me a lot if you don't know me. Like Why would I talk about you? I don't even know who you are. Well, you want to come down here and you can tell me what no, you're saying because no. you, if you know where I live at. I don't want to come to your shitty yard sale. I just want you to stop telling everyone to look at me when they do you leave. Know, you, do you know I'm a police officer, right? So I, I don't know if you're thinking of making something up or oh, something like oh, that. Oh, oh, you, you think because you're a police officer, you're above the law and you can just tell people to look at me and like harass your neighbors? I don't even I, know who the fuck you're talking about, you fucking idiot. If you, you know where I live at, then walk down here like a man. You're kind of don't a you shitty... You you live on Colonia Drive. You're kind of a shitty police officer if you don't even know all your neighbors, because uh, I've lived down here yeah, longer than you have. I don't even know how you would get the number for one, and you're probably making up a lie for two. I didn't. You, you've got to wait. You're wasting somebody's time. Cause you're calling me for no. Well, you're wasting my time by making everybody look why at would me. Why somebody look at you? I don't know. Are like, why are you me? making people look at me? It's like, every, where do you live at then? Where do you live at? If I can tell them not to look at you. You know exactly where I live at because you're telling everyone to look at me. Like everybody that leaves your yard sale. They're, they're like just looking Wouldn't at me. Where do you live at then? For I could come down there then and smack the shit out of you then. Oh, you, oh, 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 oh! Is that what a police officer is going to do? A police officer is going to come over and smack the shit out of me? 
just because they don't like me. Yeah, 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 I bet you won't say like, that. First, say first you're going to have like everyone look at me as they drive by, then you're going to smack the shit don't out of me. I don't even know who are looking at sounds you. Like you're probably like a pedophile. Or that's probably so, why they're looking at you. Sounds like you're a <laughs> dirty... <laughs> Well, you sound like, like a, a fucking pedophile. You sound like a crooked police idiot. officer. Yeah, yeah, you You're, fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. And now I'm going to track your number, and I'm going to find out who you are, and I'm going to come to your house. Just oh, like you, know I, I, you know where I live. You know exactly where I live, because you're sending everyone down to I look don't. at well, me. Tell me your address, then. Tell me your address, then. You, you, know, you know my address. Exactly, I can, I can you practically little bitch. see your exactly, house. Exactly, you little bitch. I live at exactly. 33... There, I told you. What is it? You heard what me. What is it? You heard, well, well, never no, mind. You. you know what? You can just track my phone number with your uh, police officer skills since you're a police officer. Okay, I am. You I, claim. Actually, I'm going to come to your house now just for since that. You're, just let you know. You're, and you're calling from Oakland anyways, you fucking idiot. Yeah, you hey, you fucking idiot. Guess what? It's my cell phone. I used to live in Oakland, but I've lived here longer yeah, than you have. you're a piece of shit then. If you lived in Oakland, then you're a piece of shit. I don't even want to talk to you. Oh, sure. is that how a police officer thinks of Oak- Oakland? <laughs> Man, what an what unprofessional police officer that was. It's almost as if he wasn't really a police officer. And he just made that up. He's sending a team to my house right now. You know what? I'm going to end it there. That was fun. I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Thanks, everybody, for listening today. I think this needs to be a regular thing for the rest of the summer. We need to have Sunday yard sale shows or maybe Saturday yard sale shows. Hey, Brad. I just wanted to ask, or I just wanted to know if you were going to do any more like call or you say like we're going to do something ridiculous like you did with the box we're going to throw the boxes into the river to protest trump i want you throw to the do what? Words, like ridiculous stuff. throw the what into the river the boxes what are we talking about protesting trump like, tell people you're going to do ridiculous stuff like to, to protest trump like really piss people off that'd be hilarious thank you okay Bye, all right i need to put more donald trump into my prank calls i think that's what he's saying That's a great idea. I need to put more politics in general into all my prank calls. I need to force my political beliefs on everyone. That's what I'm going to start doing from now on. Starting on the next show. Hey, Brad. Hey. Okay, so, anyway. On the episode uh, of the Snowplow show, the the one where you're calling up people and telling telling them that you were having dreams about them, Mm -hmm. at the very end you read a story about... Mama Heron getting oh, here we go again. barbed wire. Yeah, yeah. Are you behind or something? You didn't know what kind of bird Mama Heron I'm was. I'm an idiot, okay? Uh, you theorized that I'm an idiot. Mama Heron was a uh, stork because she had the big legs and whatnot. Uh, no, and his voicemail cuts off. That wasn't me cutting it off. His voicemail just cut off right there. It was not me. But yes, I know. Thank you. I hope that makes you feel smarter pointing out that I'm an idiot. I don't know what a heron is. Like, really, if you guys would have asked me, you know, like, before that story, hey, Brad, what's a heron? I would have been like, I don't know, what the fuck are you talking about? If I've ever heard of a heron, it just didn't click with me, like, like to know that that's a bird. I mean, come on, I, I don't go Hi, outside. Brad. This is Bob Vance. Hey, Bob Vance. Lobster Clamp. Oh, okay. Um, I am Bob's got a new name. To this message so that I can demand that you get a... AC unit for your uh, studio room because I, I think one. if you had one, then we would get longer shows. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm making my demand. Use your Patreon money. Bye, Brad. I did. Like two years ago, I used my Patreon money and I got an air conditioning unit. It is up here, but it's in the next room over because an air conditioner unit will not fit into the window over here on this side because it's a weird shaped window. It's like one of those church windows. So the air conditioner is in the other room over there, and there's a fan blowing the air into here. And it can keep up okay when it's like in the 80s out, but once it hits about 90, which I think it is right now. Here, let's look at the weather page. It is 88 degrees right now. Today's high is going to be 97, so I need to hurry up and finish these voicemails and get the fuck out of here. But there's two things about my air conditioner. One is that I have not taken it out of the window in about two years. And I also haven't taken the one out of the window, you know, the one from downstairs out of the window in about two years. And remember, I had all that that roofing fiasco a couple years ago. And for the longest time, there was a bunch of shingles and nails and shit on top of both of the air conditioner units. It's all blown off by now. But I'm sure the insides of the air conditioners are a fucking mess. I need to take those out of the window. I need to like take them to the car wash and like spray them down or whatever. We don't have hoses here at my house. This is a hobo house. 
Why would we have hoses outside? That'd be crazy. That's for rich people. But yeah, that's what I need to do. I should be doing that today, but I don't want to do that today. It's going to be 97 degrees out. I want my air conditioners to be on and running. And the other thing I'm going to do, which I think this will really help, like you guys care about any of this, but I was looking at the, the BTUs on the air conditioners a couple days ago, and the one up here is 8,000 BTUs, 710 watts, I think. And the one downstairs is 12,000 BTUs, 1,100 watts, I think, right around there somewhere. So I think I'm going to swap them. I think I'm going to put the higher power air conditioner unit up here in the attic where it's needed more. I think the littler one can keep up with the living room downstairs. But the problem with that is the, the electrical in this house is really fucked up. And I'm kind of afraid if I put the air conditioner, the higher powered one up here, it's going to start setting off the, the switches. I'm going to have to go downstairs and flip all the switches. I don't have easy access to the switches in my apartment because why would I? If I want to flip any switches, I have to make a phone call. It sucks. But I do have an air conditioner. I'm going to try and make the air conditioners work better soon. It's supposed to cool down next week. It's going to be in the low 80s, so that'll be fine. I'll be able to hang up here for longer in the daytime. I can't even do nighttime shows because it's like 90 degrees until, I don't know, like 10 o'clock or something. Hello, Brett. This is Mama Heron. Oh, my God. And I heard you was talking yeah, to Okay, I'm turning that one off. Fuck you, Mama Heron. Maybe in addition to the page on the Wikipedia where you make fun of words that I can't pronounce, you can also make fun of common things that I don't know that I should know. You can still hear the screams of the children. Poor children. Yeah, Making poor snow children. Angels. What the hell was that, Brad? <laughs> what kind of hobo stove was that? Yep, that one got dark. Man, poor man. Psychopath. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I did a hobo soap that got a little bit dark the other day, you guys. Maybe I shouldn't have gone hey, there. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Gordon Bombay. Hey, Gordon. I feel really bad about calling you a psychopath. It's okay. I shouldn't have said that. It's true. I'm sorry. Um, even if it's true, it's not like you can help it. So. Yep. I just want to say that. I agree. It's okay, though. I was uh, trying to sell a guy a snowplow, or give it away for free, actually, on a hobo soap. And I was telling him that I accidentally ran over a bunch of children with it. And there was still blood all over the blade, and whenever it was used, you could still hear the children screaming. You know, after I ask somebody uh, why snow and plow doesn't rhyme, I kind of run out of ideas, and I start talking about killing children. You know how I am. But to make up for it, I did this amazing hobo sode. Not to brag or anything, but I really love this one. I did this on, um, I think it was Friday. Yeah, I didn't get a show done on Friday, thanks to Laugh Track Matt, because he did a show. And I didn't want to do a show. I just wanted to sit around and listen to Laugh Track Matt. By the way, I was on Matt's show on Friday. If you want to go listen to it, it's the Party Time Show. I don't know where you can find that. Maybe on Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. But on Friday, I did a hobo sode called Waking Up Sleepwalkers. It's hobo sode number 122. You can hear that if you're a supporter on the Patreon. But I called up convenience store employees. And I convinced them that certain customers in their store were asleep. And they needed to go over there and wake the customers up. And I got two different girls to walk up to a customer and clap in their face to wake them up. And one of them even kicked a customer in the shins trying to wake him up. I'm like, no, he's not awake yet. Go try this instead. It's fucking crazy. I cannot believe like it. And it was really easy, too. It was a total of six people I called. Four people said no. And two people are like, oh, sure. Yeah, let me go clap in their face. So that's got to happen some more. I'm going to do that again on a regular show. But until then, you need to become a supporter of the PLA Patreon, patreon.com slash phone losers. And you need to go listen to Hobo Sode number 122, where I get convenience store employees to go and clap in people's faces to wake them up. What the hell is wrong with people? Hi, Red. This is Corbin Guy. Hey, I'm fake sorry. Corbin Guy. Getting a blowjob from a chipmunk right now. Okay. But, uh... Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. All right. All right. Well, Bye, yeah. fake Corbin guy. Hey, Roy. This is Court from Tally. Hey. Or should I say Court from Hong Kong. I am calling you from a payphone at the Hong Kong International Airport. Oh, wow. Sounds very clear. I'm impressed with their payphones. So I hope you play my voicemail on the show because I don't know of anybody else calling into the show from Hong Kong. All right. Cactus, cactus. Bye, Brad. That's pretty crazy. He really is calling from Hong Kong. I, I can see the country code, and I assume that country code is really a Hong Kong country code. 
Yep, I'm impressed with Hong Kong's payphone quality, sound quality. Hi, Brad. It's Kuras. Hey, Kuras. You know, um, can you please stop saying, stop looking at me because I don't know where that's from and I don't think it's funny. Okay, thanks. Bye. Wow. Wow. Thanks, Kuras. Whatever. Fine. Okay. You didn't even like today's show where I told the fake cop that he was making people look at me? That wasn't funny? Come on. Come on, that was great. Hey, Brad. This is Homeless Mango. Uh, I've just been uh, listening to your new episodes. Uh, totally like them and uh, hope to hear more. Thank you. Okay. Glad you're liking the new episodes. What are you saying? The old ones suck? Whatever. Everybody calling in and giving me shit today. What the hell? I think it's time for me to end this show. Get out of the attic. Go hang out downstairs with the good air conditioner on the nice comfy couch. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you to everyone that's been supporting the Snowplow Show and the PLA through the Patreon, like Jessica and the Real Crazy Kraz and JT and Tokus Pocus and Sim Speak and everyone else. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show and keeping the shows happening. Why, hello there. It's me, RBCP. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to edit today's show, which I did earlier. Uh... I can barely read anything in here. I think it tells me that this show is uh, one hour and 48-ish minutes long. Uh, this is what an unedited show file looks like. You can expand it, go all the way down. There's like a lot of, like that's music right there. Um, you see a lot of ringing phones in there. I have to take all that ringing out. Take all the blank spaces, all the awkward silences, ringing, ringing. And uh, I've got to edit out um, city names and street names and stuff like that sometimes. There's a bunch of ringing. There's a bunch of silence. A bunch of silence. <laughs> so that's what, um, that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I'm going to capture the screen and then I'll speed it up and let you guys see it. There's the song on the end. I can just delete that off of there. On the beginning of this, like, I didn't mention this on the live show, but I did a few calls on my own. That's these over here. Uh, I think there's two or three calls on my own right there. And there's a bunch of silence right there where I'm setting up the live show. And there's music, and there's me doing the live show. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Probably just uh, drop it in there and uh, just pretend it was a part of the live show. I won't tell anyone. Please, please, uh, you know, shh. Anyway, here goes uh, a sped up video of me editing a show. This one's for the kids stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls. Girls to give them head, where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. This guy said, freeze, hands up, little babies. Running around and acting crazy, dancing like you're Patrick Swayze. Hands to the sky, stick them up, handcuffed. Lake Hills Juvenile Police Task Force. Forcing kids to go to jail for no reason, for no reason. So welcome home. So many red jumpsuits, you might think it's a Santa Claus convention. Welcome to juvenile detention. This one's for the kids, stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls, girls who give them head. Where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. Behind these walls, you gotta survive. With no PlayStation or Xbox Live, the guards threw us crusty tether balls. And in the yard, we heard the calls. We heard girls screaming, We need some dick. Hop over the wall and make it quick. But this wall, this wall is too tall. I wish I was the liquid metal terminator. This one's for the kids stuck in JDC without their meds. Looking for some girls, girls to give them head, where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. This one's for the kids, stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls, girls to give them head, where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. Behind these walls, these walls of pain, pain and anguish. 
I might go insane Locked away, tossed away, thrown away Every day for three weeks Gotta serve my three week sentence Three weeks, I think I'm going crazy This one's for the kids Stuck in JDC without their meds Their meds Looking for some girls Girls to give them head Where are the girls? We need some blood up This one's for the kids Stuck in JDC without their meds Their meds Looking for some girls Girls to give them head Where are the girls? We need some blood up Crystalline Obliviousness devoid of light till a blue ball enters his sight It gets bigger, blue, green, and white tight latch spaces through the nighttime Crashing batches, making splashes, pulling latches, open hatches, open latches, greens and splashes Making prints in sandy pastures, filtered UV light, the air is sanitized He takes a couple steps, and he sends with the tides A city past the hill, looks nearly reachable A thousand meter tower, crystalline color so full ah! Melted congealed gelatin, melting drips off spooky skeletons. Light years, dark days, empires decay. Time melts, spins years, drip through slow days, fumes and tubes and super glue. And my hot towers, crystal blue. In a ten foot booth, smoking like Babe Ruth, stepping up to the plate like a baseball dude. And when that plate was stepped up to, some awesome stuff was confessed to. And in the nighttime, swatting agents busted through and handcuffed you. This one's for the kids in Lake Hills Juvenile Hall. Booching prison dynamite and burn out all the walls. This one's for the kids in Lake Hills County Juvenile detention in red jumpsuits crying <laughs> Nursing MRSA wound infection This one's for the kids in Lake Hills Juvenile Hall Hooch up prison dynamite and burn down all the walls Faces melted, congealed gelatin Melting drips off spooky skeletons Light years, dark days, empires decay Time melts, spins here, strip through slow days Cubes and tubes and super glue My hot towers crystal blue And a ten foot blue smoking like Babe Ruth Stepping up to the plate like a baseball dude You 
can't do shit You're in France so I'll dance like I got a bad tick Building traps so well attended This is my house, I have to defend it Thistles and splinters, whistling critters Welcome to the shrubs Thistles and splinters, whistling critters Welcome to the shrubs Sim Sim Salabim Rappy McRapperson Now it's time to fuck Get the prophylactics and stuff I'll grab your boobs and rub your pubes You know what to do You know what to do Mother You're gone you can't do shit You're in France so I'll dance like I got a bad tick Building traps so well attended This is my house I have to defend it Thistles and splinters Whistling critters Welcome to the shrubs Thistles and splinters Whistling critters Welcome to the shrubs Thistles and splinters Whistling critters Welcome to the shrubs Thistles and splinters Whistling critters Welcome to the shrubs done. I have edited the entire show. Um, look, look how tight that looks compared to when we first started. You don't see any ringing phones in there or anything, you know, just one at a time. Took out all the silences, took out a couple of the boring calls, because who wants to hear the boring calls? Nobody wants to hear the boring calls. I also did this thing, um, what's it called? It's called hard limiting. And that, that's the thing I did at the, at the very end where it makes uh, all the sound levels go up a little bit so that the, uh, you know, the sound quality, the, the volume is better. Like the, the volume's all maximized, I guess you'd say. But that's how you edit a show. Oh, there's that where, where that lady was just sitting there listening, not saying anything like a damn creep. I think that's what that is. Uh, I hope that wasn't boring, though. It was probably boring. I, I don't know how fast I'm going to make that. Uh, I kind of think, like, when I speed it up, it's just going to be like, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. It's just going to be like a big mess of a blur on the screen. Because I, I doubt I'm going to make this more than 10 minutes long. Why would I do that? But uh, it looks like it took me one hour. Here, let's see. Let's look at the file. One hour and 23 minutes to edit edit a show file that was what was it at the beginning an hour and 57 minutes long and it is now 49 minutes pretty good that's that's how you you shorten up a show file tighten it all up make it more listenable you know what as long as i captured all of that stuff uh, i may as well go ahead and capture putting the rest of the show together uh, so this is mixcraft this is what i use to put shows together I'm going to be taking that live show thing and, you know, I'll be adding the, the file that I edited, the, the, you know, the intro, show intro stuff on the beginning and the voicemails on the end and some kind of a song on the end and the prank call in the beginning. You know the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, I guess, also in fast speed. And hopefully that's not a big mess on the screen either, probably like the last segment was. So here goes, putting the show together. Hello? Hi, I'm calling about your yard sale. Yes. And, um, well, the thing is, I, I live just around Kickerville Road. Okay. And, and I'm having a yard sale on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So you can't have one, too. I mean, I put mine on Craigslist weeks ago. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I had my mom move in, and I need to get this stuff out of my house. But, but you'll, you'll be taking all my business away. And who says you're not going to be taking mine? Everybody's going to be shopping at yours, too. No, they're going to shop at yours first, and then they won't have money left. And it's, it's, it sucks. It's bullshit. 
Okay, and you're calling me to bitch and complain because I'm having a yard sale the same weekend you are. But I set mine up weeks ago, and I put it on Craigslist, and I think you did yours on purpose on the same days, just just to steal my business. No, sir, I did not. I've been talking to my mom since before I moved her in, and I told her we were having a yard sale the third week of August because I moved her in at the beginning of August. You're like a dirty businessman. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not even doing anything. I didn't even look to see if anybody else was having a yard sale this weekend. Oh, so you admit that it's your fault. You didn't check. Well, why should I? Because I'm having my yard sale, and I'm just around the corner, and you're going to steal all my business. And you're calling to complain to me because... Because it's bullshit. And I'm supposed to check Craigslist to make sure that nobody else is having a yard sale in my area the same weekend I plan on having it? Yeah, it's common sense. But it, I think you did check Craigslist and you saw that I was having one. You're Hello? like, ooh, I'm going to steal his business. Hello? Hi. What seems to be the problem? Well, you guys are stealing all of my business for my yard sale I'm having on Friday this weekend. Excuse me, we're stealing your business? Yeah, because I put mine on Craigslist already and, and you guys probably saw that. And you figured you'd steal my business because you live right by me. Well, you know, you know what? Why don't you come down here and talk to me face to face? In Arnie Road. My name's Bill. Well, I, I, I just I'm making the phone no, call, no, you, so I don't have can, to. You can come down here and talk to me face to face if you think I'm stealing your business. I, I don't want to look a dirty businessman in the face. Uh, oh, I'm a dirty businessman. Yes, you are. I'm giving you the opportunity to come down here like a person and speak to me face to face if you think I'm doing something dishonest. But you're you're not even going to stop not your yard sale phone. if I come down there. E excuse me. So if I come down there, you'll stop your yard sale next weekend. No, I'm not going to stop my yard sale. So it's, why would I come down? Free country. It's a free country. If you got a problem with what I'm doing. You need to come down here and talk to me face to face. Well, you need to just stop being a dirty businessman. Why don't you have yours on Monday? You need to quit being a dickhead <gasps> and realize that it's a free country. That and when rude. I schedule my yard sale, that's my time to schedule my yard sale. It's not your yard sale. If, it's my if, yard sale. If you do it on Monday and Tuesday, to do with hey, shut up. Sale. If you do it on Monday and no, Tuesday, you need to shut the fuck up, you motherfucker. No, you listen. come down here and talk to me face to face. I'm offering to help. I'll pass out flyers oh, so they'll you're, know. You're offering to help me yeah, reschedule I'll, my yard sale? No, I'll pass out flyers because at I'm my yard sale. With your yard sale. And I'll, I'll tell them about your yard sale that's going to happen in well, a couple excuse days. Excuse me, you're going to tell them about my yard sale. Well, at least I'm being nice, unlike really? you. No, you're not being nice. You're being a fucking asshole. You're more than welcome to come down, but I'm not changing my yard sale. No, you have to, you because I, I already set mine up with oh, Craigslist. I, I have to? You're going to get kicked off to? of Craigslist for this. Excuse me, I'm going to get kicked off Craigslist for this? You might, because this is dirty business practice. How do you figure it's dirty business practice? Because you didn't is check... Is there a law that says there can't be two yard sales at the same time? Well, it's not a law, but it's not very you neighborly, should, is it? You should. Neighborly? Yeah, you... Neighborly would be coming down here face-to-face -face instead of calling up... Well, what good would that you're do? You're being you're... the dirty businessman because you feel that I'm going to steal your business with your garbage over my garbage. You know... How does that sound? In my country of, of Russia, we don't do this. We're not, we're not like this. Okay, well, you know what? You're not in fucking Russia anymore, motherfucker. Oh, don't, don't threaten me. That's you? racist. Don't oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Racist? You want to talk racist? You come down here and talk to me face to face, motherfucker. Well, you're being so racist. I'll show you racist. Oh, oh, will you? Okay, so you're going to be even more racist. I'll show you racist. When I come down I'll here, I'll show you racist right out the fucking door. Yeah. So anyway, I'm you just. You think I'm a racist because you're not in Russia anymore? Yeah. Well, anyway, Russia has nothing to do with it. Anyway, this is anyway, not your anyway, anyway, shut up. Shut up. Listen. Listen. No, I'm not going to shut up, you fucking piece of shit. But, Come but, down here and talk to me face to face. But I just wanted to let you know that this is just a prank call. Okay, what's your address? I'll come up there and talk to you. How's that sound? Well, look, I don't even live in your neighborhood. I, I'm in Oregon. This is oh, a, <laughs> you don't even live in my neighborhood, but I'm stealing your yard sale business. No, no, you don't understand. You don't yourself. understand. This is a prank call. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not even doing a yard sale this weekend. That's all. You know, it's just a joke. Snowplow show. Just a joke. Snowplow and he show. hung up. Snowplow show, snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W what? W Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Rewinder. <laughs> okay. Go go go. Sha go go. Ba 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 ba. Meow. Blue. Goodbye. Dabalina. Meow meow meow. Blue. Goodbye. Dabalina. <laughs> Hello. How many fingers? 
Roy long shits on the toilet. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hello. This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Hello. Ooh, who, who, who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. My wiener. What the fuck? Dave, Bob, Bob, Go suck a dick. <laughs> Roy. Steve Dave, Bob, 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 Go suck a dick. <laughs> Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Okay, I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hi there, everyone. You are listening to the Snowplow Show, episode 486. Today is July 29th, 2018, and this one is sponsored by Jessica, the real crazy Kraz, JT, Tokus Pocus, and Sim Speak. This episode is going to be so fucking great that it requires five different Hillock's birthday. Is it Matt Hillock's birthday? I haven't heard about that. Maybe it's coming up or something. But he has three different hats to choose from. They are all completely different from what I've offered in the past. The logo is slightly different and there's some words on some of the hats. It says established 1994. It's a pretty cool hat. I bid on one of them. I bid $19.94 and the bid is currently up to $18.50. So I'm probably going to lose, but I don't know. Maybe I'll bid again. I will have links, though, in the show notes if you want to bid on these items. Richard is making all kinds of crazy things with the PLA logo on it. Maybe I'll post links to the uh, Facebook images he's been tagging me in lately. It's kind of cool stuff. There's one where he uses the Wisconsin Bell motorcycle logo. Right after we hear this brand new song from Henrik. And by brand new, I mean that it's something he sent me back in March. And is steal a frame from it and put it up as my show art. Nothing she can do about it. Frame from it and put it up as my show art. Nothing she can do about it. What's up, everybody? This is a quick review of FL Studio 12.5. Back once again is the Renegade Master, B Boy Damager. Power to the people. Back once again is the Renegade Master, B Boy. What with the ill behavior? Back once again is the Renegade Master, B Boy Damager. Power to the people. Back once again is the Renegade Master, B Boy. What with the ill behavior? Patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. Man, my, my sound program is being weird. I hope it's all right. Anyway, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm doing some yard sales today. I don't think I'm going to be doing this very long because it's already getting... Um, yeah, just take it all outside. Just real quick, he's just going to come over. Right now, how far are you? I'll hurry From over. I, I'm, I, I can be there within 10, 10 minutes, maybe 15. I'm getting ready to head out, walk out of the house right now. I don't even want to talk to you. Oh, is that how a police officer thinks of o- Oakland? <laughs> Man. You know what? I'm going to end was. It's almost as if he wasn't really a police officer. And he just made that up. He's sending a team to my house right now. You know what? I'm going to end it there. That was fun. I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Thanks, everybody, for listening today. I think this needs to be a regular thing for the rest of the summer. We need to have Sunday yard sale shows, or maybe Saturday yard sale shows. Bye, everybody. Into the river, the boxes. What are we talking about? Protesting Trump. Tell people you're going to do ridiculous stuff, like the, the protest. The yard sale shows. Hey, Brad. I just wanted to hey. ask, or I just wanted to know if you were going to do any more, like... Wash and, like, spray them down or whatever. We don't have hoses here at my house. This is a hobo house. No. And two people are like, oh, sure, yeah, let me go clap in their face. So that's got to happen some more. I'm going to do what the hell is wrong. From a payphone calling in code. Hey, Graz. Oh, that was great. Hey, Brad. This is Homeless Mango. I've uh, just been uh, listening to your new episodes. Uh, totally like them and uh, hope to hear more. Thank you. Okay. Glad you're liking the new episodes. What are you saying? The old ones suck? Whatever. Everybody calling in and giving me shit today. What the hell? I think it's time for me to end this show. Get out of the attic. Go hang out downstairs with the good air conditioner on the nice comfy couch. Thank you, everybody, for listening. 
Thank you to everyone that's been supporting the Snowplow Show and the PLA through the Patreon, like Jessica and the Real Crazy Kraz and JT and Tokus Pocus and Simspeak and everyone else. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show and keeping the shows happening. One can be my madness is not beneath me Kicking every last bone to be free For my mind betrays me Bashing every clinically insane magic mental sorcery It would be crazy to admit I have got a bounce my belt free Dropping it gold like a ghost I'll be gone with Focus Pocus and Sim Speak and everyone else. Thanks everyone for supporting the show and keeping the shows happening. All the ladies. All the ladies. Yo, I only got one objective, and that's all to keep feeding more and more alcohol. So you get you killing my boner. Fucking douche, buddy, and it's here. See, that's not the point. You're killing my boner. Rich Griggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yard is making the entire city look like hobos.